Hey, what up, Novi? My name is Lofton. Miss Carter talks about graduation. And this year's draft, who are you thinking the Detroit Lions are taking? And we also have a musical, Senior Spotlight, something called Pause, and a whole bunch of cool stuff. I, as you can see, we have a loaded broadcast with so many things to explore. So stick with us, because the Cat's Eye News is going to make a roar. Hey Novi, Cat's Eye News journalist Rita interviews Miss Carter about this year's graduation ceremony. Hi, my name is Rita Salim and this is Principal Carter. I had a few questions about the upcoming graduation. When is a graduation going to take place? Commencement is scheduled for Saturday, June 5th um, in Wildcat Stadium. Um, the first slot of commencement is taking place at 1030. Then there's a slot for 12 o'clock and also a slot for 1.30. Keeping in mind, um, due to the current executive order, we are planning on having three separate ceremonies to honor social distancing. And um, how is this gonna happen? Um, we are going to, like I said, it's an alphabetical breakdown. So a cohort of a portion of the senior class will come into the space. Um, we have chairs that will be lined up on the actual field. We've got a stage. Um, we are inviting um, each graduate will be able to bring up to four guests um, to this commencement ceremony. Um, it will be an abbreviated program um, because we are going to be producing a video like we did last year um, that will be released the night before. So families and friends can get together and actually take a close closer look at the commencement exercise uh, the night before and then come and participate in the event where they'll receive their diplomas um, from members of the Board of Education, um, you know, receive a, a brief celebratory speech um, by myself and by Dr. Matthews. Um, and then after commencement, we are also hosting um, our annual senior all night party, which is um, abbreviated as well in terms of time this year. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Rita. I can't wait till I graduate on June 5th. And now to Lisa and Morgan for more info about this school year's musical. Join the Wildcat Theater in their production of Live from Novi. It's some kind of musical with singing, dancing, and performances like you've never seen before. Performances are Thursday the 29th, Friday the 30th, and Saturday the 1st. All performances start at 7 p.m. Thanks, Morgan and Lisa. And now on to our sports teams with this week's sport report and also NFL predictions. What's up, Novi? As you're already watching this, the Detroit Lions have already made their first round draft pick. Click the first link down below to hear me and Seth's predictions. What's going on, Wildcats? Welcome back to this week's sports report. To kick it off, our girls lacrosse team is in action on Thursday as they take on Canton and Friday against South Line. Good luck, girls. Boys lacrosse is also in action on Thursday as they take on Canton and Troy on Friday. Good luck, boys. Thanks, Nick. The softball team defeated Northville on Wednesday and are in action next on Friday against Pinckney. Also in action is the soccer team as they take on Howell on Thursday. Go support your girls. Thanks, Gavin. Baseball was in action as they took on Northville on Wednesday, splitting the series one to one. They take on Plymouth on Friday. Good luck, boys. Now over to Nick with more information about me and Alex's podcast. If you are interested in the upcoming NFL draft, go check out Alex and Seth's new podcast that just came out. That's it, Wildcats. Have a good one. Thanks, guys. I'm the biggest Lions fan. One pride, and not a test entirely with the special announcement. Pause Club will be having an event called the Walk and Talk Day on May 4th. We will have more information on this on our Instagram next week. Thanks, Sheridan and Tyler. And that's a Kennedy for this week's Senior Spotlight. What's been your favorite thing so far about senior year? My favorite part about senior year so far is how connected our grade has been because I think that's very important to be like friends with everybody. What's one thing you'll miss about high school? One thing I'm going to miss about high school is how easy life was because like it's scary thinking about your world after high school. 
How do you feel about graduating high school? I'm happy and sad at the same time because I'm gonna miss high school and everybody there and some of my teachers and how easy like life was before, but at the same time, everyone has to move on so to do better things and get your life started. Thanks, Kennedy. And now on to yours truly with the weekend weather. Thanks, gorgeous. Now let's get to this weekend's weather. Friday, we'll have a high of 55, followed by Saturday with a high of 70. Then Sunday with a 79. Friday and Saturday will both be pretty windy, so dress accordingly to this weather. Have a great weekend, Wildcats. All right, I think we got everything. Thanks for tuning in this week's edition of the Cat's Eye News.